Okay, today we're going to be learning about how to animate a logo to look like this. So to do that, over here in Photoshop I have this PSD file with the various layers containing the elements that I want to animate. And what we're going to do is go into the bridge, take your file, go file, place, in flash. It's going to come up and ask you about all the layers that you want to import. We're going to leave it just like it is as flash layers, layers in original position. And press OK. Actually that imported it into my current project, so I'm going to close that and open up a new project. Go over to the bridge, file, place, in flash. OK. And now you can see that I have all my files over here. What we're going to do is we're going to convert everything in here to a movie clip so that we can animate it. So I'm going to use various layers over here, select them, F8 to convert to a movie clip, and I don't even really care about the names right now. I am going to put the registration point at the midpoint all the way on the left on each of them. And then we can take that layer one and delete it. Let's go ahead and create a new layer. And this will be our action script layer. I'm just going to put that all the way up on the top and I'm going to call it a yes. And we'll get to that later. Mandate is select everything and I'm just going to kind of move this somewhat centered on my screen. Okay, so first I'm going to go over to my A, and I'm going to want to rotate this in a three-dimensional plane, as you saw in the beginning. And to do that, I'm going to go over to frame 12, and I'm going to press F6. That'll create a keyframe. And I'm going to go over to frame 22, and press F5 right click on the keyframe you created, create motion tween, click on frame 22, press F6. Now back over here on frame 12, which is where we're going to start this, I'm going to go and get my 3D revolve tool. I'm going to rotate this on the Y axis like this until it's gone. And I'm going to zoom in 200% so that you can see that a little better. Then I'm going to go over to frame to the last frame and I'm going to select it and get my 3D Revolve tool again and then rotate it back the way that I want to and I wanted to do it this way here until you have it just about perfect. Okay. So that'll create that kind of motion going back and forth like that. Now what I want to do is I want to have it appear as though it's kind of dropping down and then rotating out. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go over to this frame, take my rectangle tool, and just give it a fill that I think is going to be appropriate. For me, I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to select on it and drag it out to be basically down to how big my letter is. And then I'm going to click on the A and use the 3D rotation tool. So I'm going to need to know where I need to drop it in so that it's seamless. So then I'll click on this, shift and my arrow keys just to nudge it and I'm just going to make sure it's on the exact same thing 
then hold shift, nudge once, select this one with your selection tool, delete it, select this one, nudge it back over, and it'll be perfectly where it was. Now, if you go back to the center here and you right click create motion tween, it'll ask you if you want to convert it to a symbol, which we do. And come over here, press F6. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it up here and we are going to hold shift and nudge it up until it goes off the screen. And to do this, I'm going to go back to 100%. And that way, when we have the motion tween coming down like this, it'll look like it's dropping out of the sky and rotating like that. That's exactly what we want. And I'm going to do the same thing now for the R. And then over here, we're going to do the same thing we did before with the other one, but this time I'm going to move it in the opposite direction and just nudge it down some. And for the text, I don't want that to start coming in until these letters have snapped into place. So, right on that frame, I'm going to press F6 to create a new keyframe, which will bring over the letters. And then I'm going to go over till about right there, F5. Right click, create motion tween, F6. And I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to have this come in on this side. So I'm just going to nudge it out that way. And there you go. I'm going to go down here so that we can see these and hit F5 to bring these frames over. That way, after it's done, it'll stay the way it is. Just those will come in. So I'm going to go back here and do the same thing. F6. F5, right click, create motion tween, F6, and go back to the original one from here. I'm going to want this one coming in from this side. And it'll shoot over and meet up exactly like we want. Now the trademark, I'm just going to go ahead and click over here at the end, and hit F5 to bring that all the way over. Right click from the very beginning, create motion tween, come back here, F6, and over here, I'm going to select that, and I'm going to have that come in from the bottom. And that way, it's entering the stage about the same time as the words. And on our action script layer, I'm going to hit F6. And I'm going to hit Option F9, which is going to bring up my uh, action script editor. And I'm going to type stop, open close parentheses, semicolon. And now we'll hit Command Return to see what we did. And there you go. There is one thing that we messed up on here, and that is on the very beginning layer. The two words are there. So, now we'll hit Command Return, and that's it.